Okay, I am here with a thrift haul for you guys. I'm going to show you what I picked up these last couple of days. I went to a Goodwill and then I went to a Thrift World. So I don't know if I have anything like super amazing in here, but we'll see. Sometimes my memory is like literally trash. If you're new here, thank you for coming to check out this video. My name is Heather and I am a full-time reseller. I do three reseller videos a week, mostly thrift hauls and what sold videos. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in watching in the future, please consider subscribing down below. Give this video a thumbs up and feel free to comment anytime. It does help YouTube know that this information or this channel or this video should get pushed out a little bit more and it does help me. So that's a really easy way you can help me. I had a couple of questions on my last video when I talked about my shipping and my taxes and what I do for those. So I do have a Rolo printer that is linked down below my description. I had a couple of people message me and ask me about that. Also, um, people asked about the tax, if there's an affiliate code. I don't think there is that I know of. Somebody asked me what version I use. And I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> I think when I signed up, I did QuickBooks self-employed, but I don't remember what all of the options were. But like, if you really want to know, I can try to figure it out, but I don't know if I can like where I can find the information. So I would say, I mean, QuickBooks self-employed is app. That's what I use. I don't do it on my computer. I don't know how many like tiers there are, but I'm pretty sure I just got the cheapest thing. It's super easy. You can enter in stuff manually if you want to, but um, I just have everything linked to my bank account and my card. So anyway, if you have any more questions about that stuff, feel free to ask me. I will answer as best that I can. If you see anything you're interested in, please feel free to message me on Instagram or you can email me down below. First up, we have a Ming Wang and this is Ming Wang Sapphire. So I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it's more of like a formal evening line. This is a blue with some woven in metallic blazer. This does have shoulder pads. It's a size large and it does um, button up as well. So this is more of like a modest mature brand. I use the words modest and mature. I will use um, workwear. This one I might use formal or night out or party with these buttons. So I try to put in as many keywords as I can in my title. Otherwise, in, I use the spots on the different places where you can add hashtags. Like Poshmark, you can add three hashtags. Mercari, you can do five. Depop, you can do four. Otherwise, I think you can just put keywords at the bottom of your description if you want. I don't know how much that helps in search. This is an item I'm taking to a consignment store. I'm going to start trying that out soon. Okay, I got two of these, which is really exciting. This is the brand Merci. I think that's how you say it. I've sold their ponchos before and that's it. And these are shirt dresses. This is the essential shirt dress in a size large, extra large. So it is like a blue chambray. I think this is an attached belt is what that is. And it does have pockets. It's kind of like a midi length with a rounded slit hem. So super cute, very minimalist, coastal, oversized, relaxed. I was excited to find that. I've never found it new with tags. Uh, next up, we have a dress by the brand J. McLaughlin. So this does feel like their Catalina cloth, I think, which is like their signature um, material that they use. It's kind of stretchy and kind of like scuba-ish, I feel like. It is a nylon spandex blend. So this dress is a size large. It is a blue with like this yellow printed sleeveless, probably midi length dress. It does have a back zipper. Uh, it seems very comfortable and really pretty. So I was excited to find that. Next, this is also, I guess I can show you, this is a, the brand Margaret M. So I'm either going to take this to consignment store or try it with ThreadUp. I don't know. I need to talk to Kelly Schaffner because she started doing ThreadUp again and be like, what's the deal? I feel like they started charging more for something. Okay, this is a new with tags Torrid bra. So I don't get bras very much anymore because they weren't yielding me very much profit, but I think this should because it's new with tags. It's a wire-free push-up plunge, which is also an excellent size. This is a size 42D and it is just like this purple uh, lace bra. So that's really pretty. Next we have a kind of like a rain jacket, I think, and this is Patagonia. It is a women's extra, extra large, which is an Excellent size. Yeah, extra, extra large. Like rain jacket. It's this dark teal blue color. And it does seem like a little bit more of a mid-length. So I'll probably use like rain jacket, windbreaker, hiking, outdoor, trail. And my keywords for that. 
Next we have a Columbia vest, which I'm going to try to take somewhere or thread up. So the purple tag was 99 cents at the Thrift World. My Goodwill doesn't do 99 cent sales anymore. They only do half off, which is depressing. I'm also going to try to take them these Torrid jeans. A lot of consignment stores like plus size because they don't get it as much. And then I'm going to try to take these Tommy Bahama or Tommy Hilfiger women's dress pants or thread up, like I said. So I forgot I got so much of the 99 cent stuff. I think I just wasn't finding that much stuff at that thrift world, which was okay because I was kind of, this is another Tommy Hilfiger plaid shirt I'm going to try um, because I didn't need a ton of inventory. So it's kind of just for fun. Next is a brand of uh, Judy Blue jeans. I've been selling these really well lately and really quickly. They do better in the larger sizes, um, but if it's a smaller size and it is a good style, like a straight leg, a boyfriend, a flare, um, then I will pick them up. So these ones are a size 32. And these, it usually says right here, yeah. So it's a boyfriend fit, medium wash with some distressing denim jeans. I should sell those around $28 to $35. I always price my Judy Blues at $35. Next we have um, I See by Connie K jacket. I just sold a piece of this this past week. Plus this is in a size 3X, which is good. So I think it's going to sell for more. It is a red kind of like crinkly fabric jacket. It does have a really big button. So it's kind of like an artsy art to wear type brand. So I was excited to find that. Usually when I find that it sells pretty quickly, although my last piece didn't. So we, we will see about that. Here's another bra. It's another Torrid new with tags. This is wire free push up plunge again in a size 42D. This one is just a plain purple with the crisscross front there. So I decided to grab that. Next we have the brand, what is this? Quince, Quince, does anybody know how to say that? It's a size small black sweater and it is a V-neck um, cropped cardigan. And I think it has wool in it. Let me check. Oh, it's alpaca wool nylon blend. Speaking of wool, I did some laundry for my business stuff and I put in a James Purse cashmere wool sweater in the wash and then my husband decided he was going to help me and he put everything in the dryer and so that sweater came out extremely shrunk and I was like I really was mad <laughs> but I had to try not to be too mad and I was like I could have sold that sweater for over $50 I didn't want you to mess with my work clothes and he's like oh sorry I didn't know but he's like a clean freak and he just he has his weird little like OCD things like not for real OCD but like <laughs> He doesn't like to leave dishes in the sink. He doesn't want to leave laundry. Like he wants to do it all right away. And I'm just like, I'm going to kill you. But I didn't. So anyway, we're going to have to make sure. And he's been off work for a while because he just has a break. And I'm like, you need to go back to work. And I will do this stuff when you're at work. Oh, I don't know how this sweater will do, but I think it's going to do well. My rant is over with that. Okay, next. This is a green J Jill in a 4X. I will get this brand in plus size, especially if it has good fabric content. I think this is just cotton, but it is a nice um, military green, kind of like a drapey open jacket or um, cardigan slash sweatshirt. So that should do well. Here's the other Mercy um, shirt dress. It is the essential shirt dress again, but this one's like in more of this railroad um, pinstripe and yeah it's the same style with the attached belt so excited about that okay next we have a Catherine's sweater this is an SA's 5x and this is like a multicolor knit sweater with a collar kind of like a balloon sleeve and it does zip up yeah so it's a full zip Usually my 5X, 6X stuff of decent brands sells quickly. So I hope that does just like the other ones. And then next we have another new with tags, Adriana Papel. If you guys watched my video that came out on Sunday, I did an, I had an Adriana Papel jumpsuit. This one's a dress and it's really pretty. It's a size 16. I think it's a dress. And here's the front. It's like this taupe sequin. Um with a spaghetti strap and the v-neck yeah maxi dress gown formal wedding mother of the bride that is all keywords i will use 
This brand doesn't sell for me quickly, but it usually sells for a high price, so I am willing to sit on it for a little bit longer. Okay, let's keep going. I need to have a couple shoes I need to wash. Next, we have a puffer vest. And this is from the brand Land's End. It is 2X and it is goose down filled, which is why I got it. So it's a hot, like bright Barbie pink with the gray collar. That should do good. I think I recently sold either a Land's End or a Talbot's plus size vest for a decent amount. Next, we have a Torrid 5X. I feel like this might have come from a consignment store because sometimes when they put things on clearance, they cut that little tag in half. I think because they don't want people to bring them back. So this is a sheer floral, um, really pretty, like zip up. It's kind of like a jacket. Yeah, I guess it's a jacket plus size. So I just feel like that was really pretty. And like I said, 5X, 6X in good brands sells quickly for me. So I was like, I'll take it. Next we have, oh, I haven't found this brand in so long. Okay, I have better stuff than I thought. This is the brand IRO. It is very expensive. I don't know how this piece will do because like I said, it's been a while, but it is a Lynn um, sweater and it is like a pink um, color block stripe. It's got it on the sleeve and then the slightly different color on the top and the bottom. So yeah, that was really exciting to find. A good brand that I haven't found in a while. Next we have a sweater and this is T by Talbots. I got it because of the size. It is a 3X sweater with the blue and white stripe and a little bit of like a lime green on the sleeve here. It's really thick. It does have thumb holes. What sucks for me, like this has thumb holes, but my arms are so long because I'm tall and I feel like it's just like pulling on that part of my thumb and it's just annoying. So I don't use them usually, which is slightly annoying. This is a cotton poly blend. It's got a zipper detail up here on the shoulder. So excited to have some good plus size items in my store. This is my favorite athletic thing to sell lately. And it is a Brooklyn ankle pant that always sell quickly for me. I found this on a new rack. They are a size 14 black, which is an excellent color. These should sell around 30 to $40. Very lightweight. They seem very comfortable. Oh, this is exciting. Not only because I love Disney. If you didn't know, I'm obsessed with Disney. I'm going with Grace, my daughter, in February. So if it has this castle, it's Disney Parks. But that doesn't mean you should pick up everything from Disney Parks because some of it is like kind of expensive, but some of it's not. But this one is a spirit jersey. So it says it right there. The spirit jerseys are the things they have this big spell out across the top back. But this is the little orange bird and he is popular in Epcot for the festivals. And so here's what it looks like in the front and in the back. That was my computer. It says, hello, sunshine. I saw a sold comp on Poshmark for 50 and I saw another one or two of them for $98. It was from 2021 um, Flower and Garden Festival. So Epcot has different festivals throughout the year. And I was like, oh, it's so cute. It's a size small, by the way. I don't think I would wear this. I don't know. It's just extra, but it could be fun. I guess when I go to Epcot, maybe if I don't sell it, I'll take it with me and then come back and sell it. We'll see. Um, next we have a silk piece and it is from the brand equipment. So this is pretty expensive. It doesn't sell for as high as it used to for me. This is a size extra small. It's an ivory silk long sleeve button up blouse. It's kind of sticking to me. So it's got some static going on over there. Um, next I've sold this brand before in a men's sweater. It is, um, protege collection, but I got it because of the style. It's kind of like Kooji ish with all of these like different colors in the design, very like eighties Cosby. I think my last one I sold for 40 or 50 bucks. I got this off of a new rack, but it was a worker that I've never seen before. And she was wheeling it out. And then once she stopped it, I was just like, Oh, excuse me. And I was like, going to grab that out. And she's like, geez, I'll get out of your way. And I was like, Ugh. cause I don't feel like I was being that rude, but like maybe she's new and she doesn't know about the resellers that do that. I don't know. But I was like, okay, I want this. I didn't like reach in front of her or anything. So anyway, I got that. Next, this feels like cashmere. Oh yeah. I got this Neiman Marcus set. So it's a Neiman Marcus cashmere set. It's a, these are a pair of size large purple with this like kind of relaxed leg pair of pants. And then here's the top. 
it's so soft. This has like a collar um, and it buttons all the way up. Again, this is also size large. I think they were only charging, yeah, $8 for this set. And I was like, oh yes, that is amazing. So I'm really excited about that. I do notice a little stain here in the sleeve. So I'm gonna try to get that out. Actually, I need to put that over in my wash pile. Okay, next we have a standard James Purse jacket. This is a size one, which I think is a small, it's kind of like a military type jacket. It buttons there in the front and then it has this little loop thing in the back. I don't even know what you would call that, but it was half off. So somehow nobody got it over all the colors, which again is weird. I've said this before. I go to these thrift stores probably once or twice, a, not once or twice a week, every week or every other week. And so I'm seeing, and I usually go through everything and I was like, I should have seen that because if I did, I would have grabbed it. So like, was it hiding somewhere? Or like, how come I didn't see it originally? I don't know. Okay, next we have an anthropology size medium. This is a good classic. It's not gonna get a lot of money, but I think I can just sell it as a good basic. Um, white, little like lightweight turtleneck. And then the last thing I have in this bag, oh, this could be good, but I didn't look it up. I'm just assuming it's worth $10. So it's J. Crew collection and it's a size six. It's a genuine leather jacket. So I feel like this is so cool. It's kind of got this built-in distressed look, which I think is really awesome. Like I said, I did not look up comps yet. I'm just like $10 for a J. Crew collection jacket. I think that's gonna be worth it. So make sure you come back and watch my What Sold videos. Hopefully it'll be in there soon. Okay, a little bit more here. We have only one thing from the consignment store. I sadly, because I think it was like getting very overshopped over the Christmas season, but it is this really pretty, this is Johnny Was size medium, green camo hooded sweatshirt, zip up. This is so cute. And I think I can sell it around a hundred dollars. So that's amazing. I haven't found a good Johnny Was piece in a while. So I was really excited to find that. Watch out, Isabel. Cats over here sniffing. Okay, and then this store was just a couple things I found yesterday. This is the brand Cole Haan, so it just says original grand in here, but I know that that's Cole Haan. Here's the bottom. These are in like new condition. They are a pair of black leather sandals with the gold buckle, and they're also a larger size, size nine. So I think those will do good. I sell Cole Haan shoes a lot. And then we have this which I think is a torrid top. I thought I saw somebody over there. I feel like I hear somebody walking around upstairs. I'm filming this before church on Sunday. Oh, here we go, torrid 5X. So black sheer V-neck, kind of a wrap style floral top. That should sell for around 20 bucks. This is a vintage sweater that I just felt like was so cute and it is by the brand Lauren Ralph Lauren. It is a petite medium and it is a wool mohair blend, which is another reason I got it, but it's really cute, like pink and white vintage sweater. So I decided to pick that up to give it a try. And I was looking at the print. I was like, does that, oh, and this is another thing like the cats. Look at the little plaid cats. I was like, I have to get this. I don't think the brand matters in this. It is woman within in a size two X, but I'm like, people like their cat stuff. So I grabbed that too. And then we have two more items. Oh, one more item. This is a Nuba Tags Maggie London dress. And this retailed for 160. It's a size six. And I think it's kind of an older style, but it is linen and it is maxi. And here's what it looks like. It's kind of got the white with this tan across the waist and then the long black maxi part. And I was like, hmm, I think this will do decent. I've sold Maggie London very few times in larger sizes, but Nuba Tags plus linen I think that'll do good. So that's it for my haul. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite item was. I think mine was definitely that Johnny Was hoodie. I'm excited to get all of this listed in the next few days. And I will see you guys again soon for another video. Bye.